In today's video, I am becoming a brand new superhero, Ghost Rider. As Ghost Rider, I'm able to summon in brand new vehicles, punch mobs with fiery fists, and also Ghost Rider can take over at any point and fight for me. So I can just sit back and eat cookies while Ghost Rider does all the work. In order to become this brand new superhero though, I need you to hit YouTube's new fire like button. Ah, okay. Alright, I need you to do it quick. It is really hot. Okay, whoa! Oh my gosh! I think my head's on fire! Weirdly enough, it kinda just tingles and tickles a little bit. It doesn't hurt. I really hope I'm not stuck like this. If you guys could subscribe, I think that might fix it. Oh, okay. I think we're back to normal. By the way, if you guys do want to see more superhero videos, be sure to comment other super suits you would love to see on the channel in the future, and you might just be picked out as the comment of the day. Hey, yo, Bessie! A uh, quick question. Why is there a golden block and it says yeah. Yeet Villager? Does it actually Yeet Villagers? Um, I have no idea. What What is this doing? Do you guys have any idea? If so, please leave a comment down below because this appears to be doing absolutely nothing. Bessie, is this another failed experiment? She wants me to check out the chest. Um, um, it looks like today we have a book called It's Good to Be Bad. Uh, that was Jack. No, no, how would that be me? I, I didn't fart. Anyway, today you will be becoming a super villain. Use the village yeet machine to get started? Wait, Bessie, what? I, first off, that was you. Excuse yourself. Bessie, oddly enough, is lactose intolerant and she does not care and continually eats cookies and milk. Speaking of cookies and milk, Rodney, did you steal? He stole my entire collection. I just baked all of these. He said finders keepers. That is not how this works. Nip, nip, nip. Get smashed over the head, buddy. Oh, wait a second. I think I figured out what the villager yeet machine does. Let's try it. Boom. Yeet. <laughs> what? What is this machine, Bessie? Okay, Bessie wants me to type in slash karma, and it looks like this shows me my stats among my entire Minecraft world. It shows me every good thing and bad thing I've ever done, and supposedly I am at negative 18. In order to keep dropping down to a super villain tyrant, I need to kill villagers. I'm so sorry I have to do this to you. It's for science! Oh no, oh gosh. Did it work? Yep, my karma dropped a little bit. Don't look at Bessie, look at me, you big nose nub. Oh no, okay, let's just, yeah, it's definitely working. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna yeet a couple more creepers. I mean villagers. <laughs> if these were creepers, I think my karma might actually go up. Don't worry, Nessie. I don't want you to get involved with my smashing that is about to happen with this ginormous uh, ax. Let's just go ahead and collect Nessie. Don't worry, I'll put you back later, girl. It's showtime, ladies and gents. Oh, I said no. I, I don't want to want to trade. I need to smash. I apologize. Wow. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll just see you guys when my karma is at super villain levels. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is probably one of the top ten worst things I've ever done. Eh, that did not look good. Cowabunga smash! How did you not get smashed? Oh, never mind. He got smashed anyway. Let's do a quick karma check. I have been destroying villagers. Yeah, so uh, my karma is at negative 312, and I am officially a super villain. Does my karma go up when I smash Rodney over the head? Let's see. Nope, it stays exactly the same. That's honestly a shame. Get your head out of the dirt, Rodney. Yeah, also pick up the dirt while you're at it. The next thing mm -hmm. Bessie said I need to do is to die. Wait, Bessie, are you sure about this? Okay, well, um, this is definitely a little bit weird. We might as well just go head up to my roof. This should hopefully do the trick. I'm obviously going to need to take off my wings. And, uh, here we go, yeet! I survived. Don't worry, I have a better idea. Boom! No way I survived this. Yep, definitely dead now. Back bro Jack. I see you have died. Do you want to come back, but sell your soul? What? what the, did you guys just hear that? Um, do I want to sell my soul? It honestly does not sound too bad. Okay, yes, I agree. I will sell my soul to you, Mr. Magical Mystical Person. 
Was that, was it Bessie? I think it might've been Bessie. Whoa, oh, okay. Did it work? Did I sell my soul? I mean, I still uh, think I'm normal. Why am I on fire though? What, get it off me. Whoa, wait, I'm not burning anymore. Bessie, did, did, did that work? Was this supposed to happen? Bessie told me to go check in my inventory, hit the plus sign, and uh, apparently I now have the spirit of vengeance. As the spirit of vengeance, I have insane healing, resistance, punch, and it looks like I can eventually unlock fireballs, half control, and full transformation. I can also customize my fire? What? Yo, blue and black fire, that looks so cool. Now I can also now check out these suits. We have Ghost Rider's jacket, Ghost Rider's legs, and Ghost Rider's boots. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I think I have officially unlocked the power of Ghost Rider. Now as Ghost Rider, it looks like I only have one ability so far, and that is to summon in a ginormous motorcycle? Yo, this thing is legendary. Definitely a little bit difficult to control, probably because I have never ridden on a motorcycle in my entire life. Now there also is another suit that I definitely need to check out. So this is Johnny Blaze's suit. Now I know that there are multiple different versions of Ghost Rider. So let's see, this is Robbie Reyes. Let's try this suit. Okay, do I get another new vehicle? Looks like I might be stuck with the motorcycle, but honestly, I'm not complaining. In order to level up my abilities, Bessie told me that I need to defeat mobs. For those of you guys that did not know, Ghost Rider is actually an anti-villain, almost like Venom. Now, I've never actually played as Ghost Rider in Minecraft, so I don't know about all of its different abilities. But let's see, if I go ahead and spawn in a skeleton. Hello, Skelly. Whoa, 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 what? What is happening? Um, I'm not doing anything. I've reached level two, so there's that. That's pretty, that, that is amazing. I also now have the ability to do fire fists. What? This is insane. Look at the back of my head. My entire head is on fire. Wait, now that I did level up, let's see. If we go back into here, I haven't unlocked any abilities. It looks like I can unlock fireball at level five and full transformation at level 10. Wait, hold up. Did I just turn back into normal back pro jack? Does it only work when mobs are spawned in? Hold on, let's see. So this is a neutral mob. If I hit it, it's coming back to fight me. Let's see. Will Ghost Rider take over? Looks like mi maybe not. Maybe it's only with certain mobs. But if I do kill you, do I unlock new abilities and can I still level up? Yeet. Get, get out of here. Okay. I did unlock five extra XP. What about a creeper? Oh no. Look at it. As soon as it gets close by, it takes over. No way, dude. It didn't even kill the creeper in time. But it looks like my armor is extremely powerful and was able to tank the hit. Now what happens if I want to take over? I literally can't. I can't fight it. It takes so much to even get away. Whoa. Whoa, no, kill it, though, no. Ho, oh, oh, that was a close call. This is honestly so weird. So anytime I get close to any hostile mob, the spirit of vengeance takes over and actually fights for me. That is the weirdest thing ever. That's even a, a little tiny slime. It takes over. Like I didn't even hit it. I have never seen something like this before in Minecraft and I am just mind blown. Now the magma cube, even though it's a hostile mob, the spirit of vengeance did not take over. So I'm very confused about how the spirit of vengeance figures out which which mobs it actually needs to take over and fight for me. How about a blaze? Let's see. Blaze is a nether mob. It does not seem super interested in what I'm doing. Obviously the blaze can't really damage me because I can no longer be affected by the fire. So I guess this would probably be the easiest fight of my life. I was correct. I definitely need to test how powerful the spirit of vengeance is. So let's go ahead and just spawn in a ton of zombies. Look, it's already taken over. Okay, I'm going to do nothing and see if maybe it can defeat it. This is so weird. It's literally doing everything everything for me. It's jumping too. So it's literally going for critical hits. I have never seen any other superhero or any other mod in Minecraft do this. Obviously, it definitely seems a little bit glitchy, but it is taking down mobs left and right. The only issue for me is that I can no longer take over. I'm assuming that once I reach level five, I'll be able to gain half control over Ghost Rider and the Spirit of Vengeance. I think it's working. This is so weird. Okay, we have officially defeated every single zombie. How did the zombies get over there. Hello, zombos. I don't know. No, no. All right. You just took over again. I don't even want you to take over. These zombies are so easy to kill. Like, what am I supposed to do? Do I just, I'll, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Let me know if he wins.
One eternity later. Okay, that was way quicker than I thought. We're honestly so close to level five, so I need to just spawn in more mobs. We have to get there. If I can gain full control over Ghost Rider and all of the abilities, I think I'll be unstoppable. I have yet to take any damage today, too. Sorry, little baby zombie. Yeah, you're probably gonna get smashed over the head. It's not me. Well, te technically, it's not me. It's, uh, it's the Ghost Rider. He's, um, he took over my body. I maybe let him, though. What? In the name of goo is this guy. Okay. Are you a spirit? All right. I just killed a little baby blue spirit. I think I've officially reached level five, ladies and gentlemen, which means I have unlocked half control and also a fireball. I just realized too, on my motorcycle, it has the coolest fire effects on the wheels. Let's see. If I do try to go half control, can I go back to normal? Okay. I've officially transformed back into normal Beckbro Jack without a flaming skull. And now if I go back, it seems like, whoa, I am now, I think, half Ghost Rider. So I'm harnessing half of the Spirit of Vengeance. Now, if I were to go near a skeleton, will it take longer to take over? Let's see. I think it's working. Hold on. Yes, it's no longer taking over. Let's try it out on a normal zombie. In one single punch, I do six attack damage and I just summon in a fireball by accident. Let's go ahead and try the fireball again. I don't know if it's an actual fireball or if it just explodes everything around me, but it is still super cool nonetheless. Now, what if I were to fight something a tad bit more powerful, such as the Wither Boss? Before doing that, though, I uh, definitely need to be a little bit careful and head away from my entire life and house just in in case Ghost Rider decides to team up with the Wither Boss. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off half control and let's go ahead and summon in the Wither. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, it's already on the loose. Now for whatever reason, it's not going for me. That's weird. I'm not sure, do hostile mobs just not wanna fight anymore? If I run in a normal zombie, will the spirit take over? It seems like it no longer will, which is good and bad. So I need to actually activate it in order to get my abilities. I am tanking this thing, let's go. Come here, mister where there was meet your vengeance oh no wait he's uh he's, he's going down a little bit would you stop farting everywhere seriously it's not cool who can play that game every time he shoots out a smoke bomb i have no idea where he's going this is unreal though i have taken zero damage against the wither boss and have also just been punching him with my bare fist if i can just get him down to melee mode we'll no longer have to fly all the way up into outer space dude i think we're actually about to hit the moon there we go finally now we just need to slowly drift back down to earth Never mind, this dude is still going nuts! Luckily, I am destroying his day right now. Ghost Rider is so powerful. I better get a ton of XP. Let's see it. We're literally down to the final stretch. Come on. Yo! Did we do it? Did we gain any XP? I think we got like 20. That's nothing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to wrap it up. If you guys do want to see a part two where I can unlock the Ghost Rider, full control of the Spirit of Vengeance, be sure to just leave a like. If we can hit 20,000 likes, I'll make a part two and maybe invite Adam and Alec and troll them as Ghost Rider. Who knows? Maybe Ghost Rider will take over and just smash their faces in. That would honestly be amazing but anyway i think that is going to wrap it up i hope you guys did enjoy as always if you guys do want to try this out for yourself there will be a download linked in the description below that is it for me though my name is beck bro ghost rider and i will hopefully see you guys all back again here very soon for a brand new video peace out dudes Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did enjoy that superhero video, be sure to click here for more superheroes in Minecraft. Or if you want a completely randomized video, be sure to click here or subscribe. I heard if you subscribe now, you will get cookies. Thanks.